If you've seen models from all over the Caribbean gracing your television screen, guess who's responsible for that? Yup, you guessed it, it's Pulse. Television production has long been a part of their portfolio. From the catwalk to behind the scenes of some of Pulse's biggest productions, Managing Director of Fashion and Lifestyle Romé Gordon has made the transition from model to producer. During my time in college, I had some experience working with Connecticut Public Television, did the debates and stuff like that back in the day. Nice. Yeah, it was a really rich experience. And so I did some work with some Hollywood folks too who had come to college to give us some ins and outs about the industry. And I've just always been attracted to television. I always feel like it's a good medium to channel you know, what the messages that you want to bring across. And it, it, it just worked in perfectly with my transition from modeling, then my college days, my experience in television, and then being at Pulse where it was just an automatic thing to sort of capture all of what we do um, and to put it out there in the world because it's a way for our lines of business to, to, to benefit as well. Doing the Caribbean Model Search TV show and Fashion Weekly and Ready for Caribbean Fashion Week, it is also a channel for us to, to market other aspects of our business, like the property and the rentals. It works in a yeah, holistic kind of way. No, that's one thing that Pulse is brilliant at, is cross-promoting <laughs> yes. the products. Yeah, so yeah, each thing sure. definitely feeds in to the other. Yes, for sure. It yeah. does. It works well for us because it also allows us to have a rich library of all the material over the years from the time when our chairman started the Super Jam series to just always capturing those events to make sure that we have it for posterity and we can package it and, and do all kinds of things. The potential is unlimited. And while viewers get to sit back and enjoy productions like Caribbean Model Search, it's a labor of love for Romé and her team. So much goes into it. I mean, obviously you have the pre-production, you have to discover the Girl Scout, they come in, we have a big live event, and from the live event, the numbers are narrowed to like a final 20 in a non-COVID year. In a COVID year, you've down to, you're, you're down to eight or six even because of protocols. Um, and then you have to do all the planning, get all the crew together, do the scripting, um, you know, just every aspect of production, you have to be someone who's thorough and thinks of everything in terms of making that happen. And then the product has to be exciting. Mm -hmm. People have to want to see the girls and to see what you're presenting, the challenges and stuff like that. And what I like particularly about our show, especially the Model Search show, is that it's, you know, it's organic. And the things that the girls say, um, sometimes are funny and, 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 and you get that whole culture projection mm -hmm. from other places. I remember in Africa we had to, um, we had to put subtitles on um, some of our, our TV shows just so people could understand right. what they were saying but then by the, when we arrived in Africa, I heard somebody using some lingua from, you know, <laughs> what, so the culture had kind of gotten through, yeah. but for the wider audience, you still have to put the subtitles there. So. I think for, for people who are watching the Jamaican girls in particular, the dance hall, mm -hmm. reggae music mm -hmm. also has an influence, so they would be familiar with some of the language. Some of the language, for sure, and we encourage the girls to just be themselves, because right. then when it's authentic, people are... You know, it's more inviting and they want to watch. And of course, people want to watch too because they want to see who's going to win at the mm. end. So you've still kept this going even through the pandemic? We have. On a smaller scale, we've, we've, we have a nice, neat group of girls for this season because we've had to scale down. It's going to be just as exciting and we're, we're going to do a big retrospective too. Um, in terms of all the models who've come before, because I, I think a lot of times people don't give history its due. And I'm a big history fan. I was, you know, I loved history in, in high school and college. And so we're doing a big retrospective along with the batch of girls that we have for the new season um, for the Caribbean Model Search. So I think it's going to be a brilliant melange for the audience, you know. Caribbean Model Search goes far beyond just entertainment value, with winners of the reality show headlining major magazine covers and featured alongside global brands. 
Pulse delivers on its promises. We've had great success with our TV shows, certainly from the model search side, because people like Alicia Burke won, and you know you had Janiel come in through the show as well and doing very well, so that it has not only an entertainment value for the audience, but there is a result coming right. out of it in terms of people seeing that, hey, if I come to Pulse and I'm discovered and I'm developed by that agency, then maybe I could make it to the cover of Vogue. Mm -hmm. So there is a direct translation from when we start right. the groundwork to... Because there are lots of reality shows that do not have that. Lots mm. of comp singing competitions, modeling competitions, where uh, there's a big deal about the winner and then after they win, nothing. No, no. Not and so with Pulse. Not so with, with us. Our shows have a, a direct impact on the models' lives in terms of how they are turned out to be international models. And we've had that success in the show. We have people like Zan Hyde and now Shante Leslie, who won the last series in 2019. Zan is already in the market working. Our TV shows bring results for the company in terms of the channeling and the promotion and the cross-pollination of all the lines of business, as well as the impact that it has for the models. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, and with its productions featured in almost 14 countries spanning across several continents, Pulse has capitalized on the demand for more television content and is taking steps to expand its reach across digital platforms. The lockdown has caused people to watch more TV and our broadcasters have called back to ask for multiple series, um, series that we've worked on in the past to fill airtime because people are clamoring for the programs. We have been at the forefront too of showing people themselves long before it was common to do that. You know, it was great to, to have Aloy Samuels at the helm when we started Caribbean Fashion Monthly and then it became Caribbean Fashion Weekly with Kimberly Mays. Then we did a spin-off ready for CFW to prepare for Caribbean Fashion Week, which Kimberly and I hosted. We've had many different iterations of our live event being transitioned into television events and the demand has always been there in the marketplace for, for our, our TV shows all over the Caribbean and we are also in select uh, markets in North America and in, in England and then also our foray into Africa now which would you know, give us a much more expansive platform for television so we're excited about the prospects. You know digital and social media has taken on new legs mm -hmm. since the pandemic. Yes. Is that an area that you're looking at too? Yes we're definitely looking to expand a lot more. We have so much content that will be rich for that platform and we're developing and building and working behind the scenes scenes now to populate that space in a huge way because I think that Pulse has a big footprint and we have big history and so I think it'd be good for people to see that kind of content and know the genesis of the modern modeling fashion industry in the region. Oh, that That's where people are. I mean people are the, and, and, and the thing is that Things are so nuanced now that you can, you know, get your information on all kinds of devices on the go. I mean, the sports channels, the ESPN, that's, what people want. that's what they want. They want flexibility and they want convenience right. so that if they don't catch it on broad network TV, then you can have it on your phone or your laptop or your iPad. So yeah. CFW on YouTube? Yes. Well, or Netflix? Ne or <laughs> Netflix wherever. is what we're after, yep. So that we can, you know, share it with the world for sure. And if you think pre-pandemic Pulse has been mashing up the place, then get ready for a bigger and better post-pandemic Pulse. In our final episode, we discuss everything from Pulse Global to virtual.